This is what we're doing today. <laughs> the, I don't know if you can see it or not, let's see if we can get a shot of it. Right, but right here, right, the thread stripped out in the very beginning of the bottom bracket tube right here. Right, in 027. Right, I showed you guys the cups I think already before. I put a little Teflon tape on this one. Right, uh, we've been to a couple of places to see if we can try to get it rethreaded, but nobody seems to have a threading tool this big. Plus, this is a standard Schwinn. This is a 1971 Sport Touring 10 speed, so it's a standard Schwinn size, which basically turns out to be a standard British size with a really fine thread. See, like a really fine thread. Now, let's see. Focus. There it is. The really fine thread. Right, so basically, since nobody else can do it for us, you know, you get a good shot of it that time. All right, I'm going to do it myself. I figured, you know, what the hell. I had the skill, I had the tenacity, I had the ability. I just needed the bearings, which we got right here. $4.34 for a brand new set of bearings for the cups. I cleaned them all up. I got them in good shape. Right, here's the crank pin. It's, you know, I mean, it's not too bad. It's got a lot of wear on it, but, okay, this thing, damn thing's old. So that's where we're at right now. Right, so I've already sprayed it. I put some of this stuff here, blaster. Right, uh, you know, penetrating catalyst, cleaning penetrate oil. Right, I sprayed some on there. I used the, I used my little handy knitting needle tool. Right, and uh, scraped some of the rust out, some of the rust out of the threads. Right, brushed it all out. I'm getting ready to do another coat, so that's where I'm at right now. Hey, hang in there. Right, just this is gonna work. Okay, now the object of the game here. Is to try to get the bearing cup to thread into the bottom bracket tube, right? And we want it to thread in straight. We want it to thread in all the way so that the bearing, right? Because this is how it works. Let me just set up. The bearing rides on the inside of the crank pin, and then the cup goes over the top, and then this screws into the hole. Right, and it holds it tight, centered. Right, so what you want to do is, is you want, you want the bearing cup to thread all the way in as far as you can get it, so that on the other side, when you thread, when you put the other cup in on the other side, right, then it stays centered and you need it. There, so I think I said that. See, so since this is going to be a one-shot deal, <laughs> right, where's the bearing go? Since this is going to be a one-shot deal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grease up the bearing in the cup right now. Right, so I don't have to do it. So I don't have to try to unscrew it and thread it again, thread it in there again because you know this is gonna be a one shot try here. So you wanna get a little bit little glob of grease here and you wanna put it on the palm of your hand like this. Alright. Then you take your bearing, take your bearing, that side down, and you wanna scoop the grease in like this. Right. Then get it all good, you know, saturated around. Go pack it in there between the bearing and the cage. Right. Get it all good and gooey. Right. Because you don't want to end up doing this for a while. You want to do this like maybe once a year. But right. you know, bearing maintenance. This is for all you motorized bike guys. I mean, remember, your, your motorized bicycle is mostly a bicycle. And this is one of the things that you have to do to it to maintain, you know, the service of it, the maintenance. Now, yeah. once you get it in there, right? Let's see. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the flat side up. You know, put it right in there. All right? That's to put a little bit of grease on the threads, make it easier. All right. All right here we go. Woo yeah, yeah, we got a problem. <laughs> All right, let's sort it out. We'll get back and back to you. Okay, uh, I apologize for the lighting. The light is even with the camera. Alright, uh, my friend Norman is here to you know, lend us a little, a little support. So once again, I wrapped it with some chuff on tape. But yeah. remember, we're missing like about three threads right here at the beginning. So, you want to make sure that it threads in straight. Uh, 
or at least as straight as you could possibly get it. You want to use one of these, uh, right? An eight inch press. This is a ten inch pressure wrench. It gives you enough leverage. Hold your thumb on the cap, <coughs> on the bearing cap, so you keep it straight. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's a good first turn. It's open right now. It's staring right at us. Oops. The pool gate. It's pool gate. open. That? Yeah. It's live. Yeah. And it's on. And we don't use. We use the motor roller. Oops. Yeah. I was going to give an idea to get past those three Oh, I think I might get it this time. It's pretty straight. Uh, Cut them threads new. Ah. Oh, that's good. See, that's the beauty of this. These bearing cups are high grade steel. All right, they got some pretty fine threads. problem that the previous owner had was he couldn't get a good grip on it. What is that, like a one inch? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. They couldn't get a good grip on the bearing cap, so they just scooted it in the way it went. Yeah, don't use the vector on it, smash it. Huh? Don't use the vector on it either, smash it. Yeah. You guys get the point. I got it going in straight, so I'm going to stop right here and uh, thread it in the rest of the way. It's going to take a minute. Oh, stop. There we go. Okay, so here we are, finished product. We got so involved fixing it, right, that we forgot to make the videos after, you know what I'm saying, the first try. But look, as you can see now, it's way better. It's way closer. See, they're more even, right? Uh, it's still a little bit loose, but I can live with it, right? Uh, I dropped, I pulled it up another gear up on the thing, so it's not as tall. Um, runs pretty good. 27 is a very durable bike, right? Uh, what we ended up doing was just threading them in, right, and just screwing them in all the way down to as far as we can go. This one here's got the, this is the, uh, the drive side. You can see it's a little chewed up because we had to use a pipe wrench on it right, to get it to go all the way in, right? And it's still. Like I said, it's still a little bit loose, right? Uh, but that's as far in as we can get them, right? I'm not too convinced that uh, we have the right crank pin here, right? Because obviously, you know, this bike was put together from a bunch of parts and somebody did it before me. I just didn't do the crank when I was putting it together because it was already done. It seemed to be, you know, fairly tight, but then it, after, you know, after a little bit of use, it kind of broke down, so. I'm not really convinced that we have the right crank pin because on these twins we shouldn't have a, a bolt. We should have a nut. Right? But anyways, there's old 27. He's back and running. All I got left to do now is uh, put in a new pair of brick shoes because these ones are pretty much done. And uh, 27 is ready. He's, we're going to go tomorrow back to the city, go to an eye doctor appointment, and uh, see if I can get me another seat. But until then, this is me, Brian. Yeah. Heck yeah, old homeless guy. He's got wheels again now. Look, 27's happy. Thank you.